The murder of Peter Parker's uncle was a pivotal moment for the young teenager as he vowed to make sure no harm would ever come about to another innocent while also overcoming a great obstacle of not succumbing to taking a life himself as he refused to kill Ben's murderer as a means of revenge. Although Ben's mentorship and eventual death helped shape Peter Parker to become the superhero New York desperately needed, it did still emotionally affect him as Peter deeply wished he could see his uncle once more and show him all the good he had done as Spider-Man. And his wish did eventually come true, as there was a time where he did get a chance to do just that in the 500th issue of the Amazing Spider-Man comic series. This comic issue continues Spider-Man's journey of traveling through time as he was helping Doctor Strange prevent the extra-dimensional energy being known as Dormammu from ever obtaining his power and thus prevent all the destruction he caused with it. After a successful mission of helping save the world once again, Peter was given a gift by Doctor Strange as a present for his birthday. As he made his way back to his apartment in New York City, Peter celebrated his birthday with his family and friends. Once the party was over, Peter decided to finally open the gift Doctor Strange had given him. Reaching the top of the roof of his apartment, he opened the present to find a note that told him he had five minutes to enjoy its gift. Upon reading the note, Peter heard a familiar voice call out his name from behind. He turned around to find Uncle Ben standing there in the flesh. Once the shock of seeing his loved one back from the dead had settled, Peter began to ask for forgiveness, apologizing that he wasn't there when Ben needed him most, and that he failed to prevent his murder. Ben dismissed the apology, stating that Peter had nothing to be sorry for, and that they all made mistakes. Actually, Ben explained that he would only be disappointed in his nephew if he stopped reaching for his dreams and began to settle for less than what he could truly achieve, that he'd let fear prevent him from doing what he believed in. Peter reassured his uncle that he hadn't done that, that he'd been striving to do his best in what he believed in ever since his passing, to which Ben was more than happy to hear. Peter then tried to tell Ben about all the powers he had gained since he passed, which have allowed him to achieve all the good he has done. But before Peter could finish, Ben asked him a serious and deep question, that despite all the good his nephew claims to have done with his new abilities, was he happy? That despite all the pain he may have gone through and all the people he has lost, was he happy with his life? Upon being asked that question, Peter remembered all the hardships he'd gone through, all the people he has lost ever since he took up the role of Spider-Man. But despite all the pain he had gone through, Peter admitted that yes, he was indeed happy, that he has a good life, and that he never truly realized how lucky he was to be living the life he is. Beyond joy to have heard that, Ben proclaimed that was all he ever wanted for Peter. They then hugged, both admitting how much they've missed each other and their love for one another. Finally, as the five minutes were coming to a close, Ben began to disappear, saying his final goodbyes and asking Peter to continue protecting May. Peter swore on it that he'd always protect her. Ben's final words were, I know, before fully vanishing. As he made his way back into his apartment building, Peter was full of life again as he realized just how fulfilled and happy he was, something he likely hadn't felt in a long time since he took on the heavy burden of being Spider-Man. Thanks for watching this episode of Hero History. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, have a marvel list day.